Bianca. Yep. Which one is you? Um, Valid, so you'd be a teenage student. That one, right there. Sorry. Yep. I think so. We are behind schedule. Yeah, we are time. a little bit, but it's fine. Bianca, where are you from? Uh, New Jersey. New Jersey. I yeah. thought you were from Italy. No, yeah. I'm half Romanian, actually. Oh, half Romanian. Yeah. Romanian is smart. I have a lot of good <laughs> Romanian friends. Would you prefer me to read through this? Um, if you want to, or I can just start because I give myself a description as well. Oh, that it's sounds great. You. And I will give you. We are you a bit behind. So and I can give you 10 minutes, 5 minutes, and 1 minute, so I'll be sitting there. Okay, I'll be relatively fast, don't worry. Cue me in, boss. Cue me in, boss. I can start whenever, and I can describe myself if you want. Cool. I got a slide on that, so we can skip the intro if anything. So you want to start when you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready to start whenever you guys are. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, everyone can hear me? We're good? Ready to get started? Okay. Awesome. No need to heckle, my dude. Okay. Valen, so easy, a teenager can do it. With yours truly, be a Scilab. So first off, who am I? I am 16 years, I am now 17 years old as of a few days ago, which is very exciting. Almost an adult, a little scary. Now I'm gonna be old like all of you. <laughs> I am an international speaker. I have spoken on all things cybersecurity, election security, etc. This year I was a DEF CON goon, and next year I'm going to be running DEF CON kids. So if you have kids or want to kidnap some, bring them to DEF CON. We have awesome things planned. We have CTFs, workshops, badges, etc. I am also the founder and CEO of my non for profit Girls Who Hack. Our mission is teaching girls the skills of hacking so that they can change the future. I provide free online and in-person classes on all things intro to cybersecurity. So, Valid, that's kind of a strange name, but it's actually made up of three words, veil, valid, and identity, since it's covering your online presence. So first off, who created this tool? Valid was started by Cult of the Dead Cow, which is a hacker group that started in 1984, very old, almost 40 years ago. They built Valid to take back the internet. When the internet was first created, it promised to be a free, open platform for information and connection. Now, large corporations and companies, like Facebook, monetize on our private information for profit. Though this is corrupt, they are able to do so with the end user license agreement that allows them to have 24 seven access to the microphone, keystrokes, camera roll, and more on your devices. This way, they can better target ads at you. None of us really read the terms and conditions, especially not our moms who just wanna get on Facebook so they can see Aunt Karen's new post. Valid allows us to design secure and private applications on a new network. Valid needs you to help build its platform. That's why it is open source and community based. Not only do they need coders, they also need people to help with marketing and legal as well. So what is the point of Valid? Valid's mission statement is, we exist to develop, distribute, and maintain a privacy-focused communication platform and protocol for the purpose of defending human and civil rights. I cannot stress this enough. Privacy is a human right, and Valid was built with that ideal in mind. It also allows a platform for secure uh, communication and file sharing. While some may not mind Mark Zuckerberg getting their relatively unimportant search history, out in the many war zones right now, there are reporters trying to safely send sensitive images and information over the internet. They may inadvertently give away their location with their IP address and become the target of a hostile government or terrorist organization. Valid aims to provide these individuals with a safe way to communicate without compromising their identity or their location. So I keep saying Valid this, Valid that. What is Valid? Valid is an open source, peer-to-peer, mobile-first network application framework. This application framework is fully open source so you can see what's happening in the background and know that your data is safe. Currently, there are 10 to 15 people working on the project with over 2,700 people in the Discord that you can join as well. Like I mentioned earlier, you can help build it too. If this project seems interesting to you, join us. Valid is a mobile-first application framework. Let's face it, most people spend more time on their phones and iPads than their laptops and desktop nowadays. The Valid team wanted to make sure that these devices were at the forefront of the project, which is a unique approach since most software is developed with mobile as an afterthought. 
Valid is thinking different. When most developers go out to build an app, they focus on how the app will look and how it will function. They typically don't think about privacy at all. They just say, we'll take care of security later. Spoiler alert, later never comes. And if it does, it's bundled with an update that most users will say, ask me later to. Valid takes privacy and security first and foremost and handles it for you, allowing you to focus on what developers are good at, building an app. So what can you build with this framework? Practically anything. Let's be honest. Facebook is great. It allows family and friends to connect with each other easily and share their life experiences. What's not great about Facebook is that they steal your personal information and sell it. Recently, Facebook handed over a message that a woman sent about going to another state for legal abortion. Now, she's in jail. They also allow evil companies like the now defunct Cambridge Analytica to target political ads and fake media to unsuspecting Facebook users. The ad tools Facebook has makes it a perfect weapon for social media psyops. And I could go on a whole rant about this, but that's all in the talk I did a couple of years ago. And it is available on my bsilab.com website if you wanna check it out. Little plug in there. But back to the talk. Valid can be used to build any type of network application you can think of. A Facebook clone, a chat app, we'll look at one later, file sharing, and pretty much anything you can imagine. Let's talk about what Valid is not, so you don't confuse it with anything. Valid may sound a bit familiar, and that's because others have come before it. Valid is not a proxy like Tor, which is a proxy for anonymizing your online traffic. But then again, the NSA hosts thousands of monitored exit nodes, so who knows what they may be watching. The IPFS, or Interplanetary File System, is a decentralized content delivery platform, which is pretty cool, but also not what Valid focuses on doing. It's also not blockchain because have you considered using a database instead? And there is no kind of crypto coin involved. Valid is meant to bring freedom back to the internet. It's quite a unique project, and that's why I'm excited to discuss how Valid works. Valid is built on Rust, and it runs on all platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, iOS, and even WebAssembly. The Valid team didn't make their own communication protocols. They used the established one, TCP, UDP, WebSockets, works with IPv4 and IPv6, and it's an all-in network. So when you are on the Valid network, no external services are required. There is a splash of DNS on the first run, which I'll get into shortly. Very importantly, Valid is decentralized. Most tech companies were started with good intentions in mind until they realized they had to pay for infrastructure and storage. Since most of their applications started off free, they don't want to just suddenly make people pay for their systems. So instead, they collect and sell user data. Valid will never run into this issue as they do not store or host anything themselves. This also means they have no tracking. No tracking? Hmm, as proof of this, let's read some of the end user license agreement together. So in the end user license agreement, a company will have to answer all of these questions and this is how Valid answered them. First question, what information do we collect? Valid Chat collects no information from you. How do we process your information? We don't. Valid Chat does not collect your information, nor are we able to collect it. What legal basis do we rely on to process your information? Valid Chat does not process any personal information. Because the Valid Foundation cannot access information entered into the Valid Chat in any way, shape, or form. 
the Valid Foundation does not process your information. When and with whom do we share your personal information? In no way, shape, or form do we ever share your personal information. We cannot share what we do not retain or what we cannot access. I think you get the idea. Very importantly as well, Valid is accessible. Not only was Valid designed for non-technical people, like I mentioned before, but the Valid team made sure it was user-friendly for those with different needs as well. Let's talk about the cryptography behind Valid. VLD0 is the first cryptography bundle built into the Valid framework. But let's be honest, crypto breaks and changes over time. That's why Valid is designed to scale and deal with these improvements. The crypto system is upgradable and backwards compatible. That means if your node is running VLD1 when it comes out, you can still work on the network with VLD0 nodes until they sunset the older version. Encryption. Everything is encrypted in transit and everything is encrypted at rest. At rest, this is important because if you lose your device, no one will be able to see your information. You have the DHT keys on your device so no one can access your stuff. One of the members of the CDC who has worked on this project, Metaspore, made sure encryption at rest was included due to a personal experience she had to go through. Her ex-partner lost his phone and bad actors got their hands on it taking private photos of her off of it and putting them on the internet. If those photos had been stored in an app built on Valid, no one could have accessed those photos. So now let's take a look at the Valid network. Strap in folks, that is you. And those are the other people running different apps they made on Valid. And here is the other party you are connecting to. The first time you run an app, it reaches out to the bootstrap server over here to get a list of all the other nodes. It then reaches out to the nearest nodes to get on the network. Then those nodes find other nodes, creating the network mesh. Once your application is running, it receives an updated list of nodes and it shouldn't have to reach out to the bootstrap server ever again unless there is an issue. As you go to your destination site, you connect onto a number of nodes, like a headless one, like the one I run in the cloud, a mobile app, a desktop app, and whatever other projects people have been working on. So let's take a deeper look at this connection we have made. Because neither node knows more than a couple of the nodes around it, the two nodes that are communicating build a private route together. A on the left connects to N1 and builds a private route to B on the right. Now B knows about N5 and builds a private route back to A. It's important to point out here that these are direct routes. Once you are on the valid network, your traffic never leaves. On most systems, network pathways can be tracked, and nodes can watch the transfer path of packets, meaning your information can be captured and compromised in transit. The way the Valid network combats this issue is by making sure every node only knows the node before it and after it. That way, both communicating nodes, in this case, A and B, have a private route. But what about the security of the packets themselves. For those of you who know Tor or the Onion Router, this may seem pretty familiar. As your message is transferred, it has layers of encryption around it that get removed as it passes from node to node. This is where Tor gets its name, the Onion Router. And Valid calls this Ogre Routing because ogres have layers like onions. As I mentioned before, Valid is built on Rust, which 
cross compiles, meaning your code will run on multiple types of operating systems. It runs practically everywhere, and the crates are available now. And what easier way to dig into the Valid API than with Python, a quick pip install command, and you can start interacting with the Valid API straight away. Given Python is a relatively simple and universal programming language, this allows those with less of a programming background to utilize Valid without needing serious developer skills. As for mobile applications, there is Flutter and Dart. The Valid team used Flutter to make the Valid chat app because it will cross compile to desktop as well. We will dive into the Valid chat app in a little short while, but first, Let's build a valid node. There are two types of nodes, an app node and an appless or headless node, which is a node that is running valid without an application on top. As far as the valid network is concerned, they are viewed the same and equal. All the code is available on GitLab slash valid slash valid. The readme markdown file has all the steps you need. It's really easy to set up in just three short steps. One, get the valid GPG keys. Two, install the packages. And three, compile and run. Once your node is up, there's a really cool Vaporwave interface. But enough talking. Let's see how easy it is to spin up a valid node in under three minutes. First, as you can see on the top there, it's GitLab slash Valid slash Valid. Then down here, we'll go into the README file so we can get all the information we need. Next, it will have um, a short description about Valid, what it is, basically what I've covered so far in this talk. And then it has all the instructions on how to run a node. Then skipping over all of that, we see the hyperlink to installing. Once we click on that, we will get all the instructions step by step on how to install Valid. So you don't have to figure it out yourself. It also explains all the different commands and things you have to get into. So here is building a headless node, like I mentioned before, which I did in my cloud server that I have. And now, time to install it. It's quick, easy, and it's all just copying paste the commands. So we'll copy in the first command, which is the GPG key that I mentioned. Once that goes, Next, we have to figure out our architecture. And I already knew mine and what it was, but it's always good to double check even if you think you know. So we'll copy in that command and get our answer that will help us out in our next step. AMD64. So we'll go to step three and see which one is made for AMD64. That's the first command. So we'll copy that and run it. Now, we need to install Valid. Only first after we've updated, because always update your craft people, which I sometimes forget to do. Guilty of that. It goes by quickly. Next, we'll install Valid. seconds, we'll be ready relatively quickly. 
And next, we just need to uh, start up our headless node. So we have two options. We can just run it, or we can set it so it starts at boot as well. So we're going to copy the start at boot command so we don't have to enter the same command every single time we want to open up and start up our valid node. Enter that in. And then again, in a matter of seconds, it should start up and it looks relatively cool. Like I mentioned, the whole vaporwave style. Okay, valid. And there we go. And now as we wait for it to sort of boot up, I just adjusted the size. And then pretty soon you'll see all the traffic and all the nodes come in right now. You can see all the IPv4 and IPv6 and everything that's on the network currently that it's seeing. And then, of course, we have a command line. So we're going to type in help to be able to get a bunch of different commands and information on the valid headless node that we've just created. As you can see, my node has been steadily and happily contributing to the Valid network. I only take it down about once a week to perform some updates. Building a node yourself is very easy and, again, takes a matter of minutes. You saw that. And will help build up this fast-growing network. But what about an app? Let's look about the Valid chat app. This is currently in beta. So if you would like to check it out, you will need to join the Valid Discord and then get permission. One of the things the Valid team wants to ensure is that anyone can use Valid applications, even your parents and grandparents who have no super nerdy technical knowledge. To test the UI's ability to be user friendly, I had my non-technical mom install the Valid chat app on her phone. All she had to do was go to the Google Play Store, download and install Valid chat, and launch the app. To befriend her, I clicked on the clipboard on my phone to generate an invite QR code. And she simply had to click the center QR code redeemer, then bam, we are chatting. And as you can see in the app, it's got a relatively basic screen, it's got your chats, it's got your contact list, and again, it's in beta, but as for now, it's working pretty well. I'd like to take a moment here to say this. Let's imagine what the future will look like if we continue living with the current information for sale model. Your kids now have their first real jobs, and so they apply for health insurance. But the insurance company scraped all the Facebook data from your grandma's Facebook account and are now giving them higher insurance rates because they found your grandma's medical search history. With all of our privacy stripped away, there's no doubt that the future will be a scary place. And it already kind of is. That's why we need you to help protect my generation and the coming generations from this profit-based internet by contributing to this new security and privacy-focused network. In other words, let's take back the internet. Thank you. We won't have Q&A, so if anyone has questions, Bianca Luis will be available back at the village. Thank you.